So China is creating new problems for the US. But back home, China's economy is losing its golden touch. 2023 was supposed to be the year for recovery. Instead, the Chinese economy has stalled. China's inflation remained close to zero in May. Manufacturing activity has shrunk, exports have reduced. In fact, there was a rebound in the housing market, but that too has subsided. To add insult to injury, foreign investors are now leaving in droves. They are dumping their Chinese investments and pulling out their money. In 2022, there was a massive sell-off. Investors sold $148 billion worth of Chinese bonds. They have lost faith in Chinese businesses too. Last month, $1.71 billion worth of shares were sold. Before that, in April, investors withdrew $659 million from the Chinese markets. They have clearly changed their minds. In the beginning of 2023, investors were bullish about China. Beijing had done away with zero COVID, the policy of mass testing and lockdowns. China's economy was opening up, so the foreign investors did some heavy buying. In the first five months of 2023, they invested a little over $25 billion. But the Chinese economy has underperformed. So by extension, the markets are under-delivering. That's the situation today. What about the future? Well, it isn't looking bright. Consider what a former IMF official said. Desmond Luckman says China is headed for a lost decade. Luckman has penned an editorial. He says, and let me quote, We may be at the end of the period when China, the world's second largest economy, served as the world economy's main growth engine and the main driver of international commodity prices. So Luckman is predicting an end to China's growth story. It is a fair argument to make. There are some compelling reasons. First, the structural problems within Chinese economy. A rapidly aging workforce, weak productivity, worsening inequality and the crisis within the property sector. There is an oversupply of real estate. More apartments, less buyers. Going by one claim, China has at least 65 million empty homes enough to house the entire population of France. There are more problems, like the crackdown on Chinese corporates. Xi Jinping is tightening the screws. He's pushing a concept called common prosperity. It is aimed at narrowing the wealth gap. Under this, technology companies, the education sector and entertainment firms have been hit by regulatory crackdowns. China has also placed limitations on its own companies. Their process to list companies overseas has become stricter. These changes have not gone down well with investors. They feel the Chinese market is unpredictable, so they are hesitant to invest. Geopolitical tensions, too, are making them more apprehensive. Things like US sanctions on exports to China and the growing calls to decouple. There's a big fall in investment from America. Private equity investments have reduced drastically. Last year, they fell by 76%. Basically, investors now feel the Chinese markets are more risky than before. That's an indictment of the Chinese state. And the Communist Party leadership, China's biggest asset this decade, was its economic growth. It enabled China's rise on the world stage. But it seems Beijing is losing that advantage. The foreign investors have lost trust in China. And this is a direct result of the policies of the Communist Party.